right, guys, welcome back to my segment on filling your apothecary. Um, if you've been practicing the witchcraft and everything else, maybe you want to build up your apothecary too. I find it's really handy to have all sorts of stuff on hand for spells and mixtures and potions and just easy stuff. Um, this does not have to be expensive. I'm going to tell you what I use, why I use it, and how to do it. So what we're going to make today um, is spirit water. Now, this old crystal skull vodka jar, it's empty now. Don't get excited. That's just water in there. But anyways, um, I got this given to me for my birthday last year, and it is rather large. And now that it's empty, I thought, why not use it for a potion or a water or, you know, witchcraft? So I've been kind of saving it for a day like today. So all I've done is kind of cleaned it out, put that guy over there, and I half filled it with spring water. Spring water. I'm not advocating for any brand here, except for that Crystal Skull Vodka. It's actually very good. Um, this recipe does call for spring water, actually, specifically spring water, because it's supposed to be a a natural source. Now, yes, I just got mine out of a bottle, but it said spring water on it. So there's, you know, intention. So spirit water is really, really good for using as offerings on your altar. So if you have an altar and you leave offerings for gods or goddesses or deities or ancestors, spirit water is really, really good for that. And it'll help you um, commune with spirits and ancestors so it's fantastic you can also use it for i don't know any spell that you want to commune with the dead so anyways um i like to have my ingredients in threes or fives or sevens or nines you know um and this one is three ingredients so like i said i've got this beautiful skull here um we've got our spring water inside so the next thing that we're going to put in is actually frankincense because frankincense um, helps with clarity and raising vibrations. Um, don't need a whole lot. Do not need a whole lot. Would you like to see if I can just show you there that this is frankincense essential oil? I don't know how much this cost and I don't remember where I got it. Probably 25, 30 bucks for this little thing. Witchcraft shouldn't be expensive, and you definitely don't need frankincense. I really wanted it. So we're just going to go ahead and put some of it in there. doesn't have to be a crazy amount. There we go. So there's that. So that's two ingredients, and we're going to actually add one more. Um, and this is anise seed. Dollar store. Fantastic. Cost me a buck. Anise is amazing because it can help with divination, contacting other planes, clairvoyance, consecration of things, etc., etc. This is something really, really good to have on hand. Um, you can buy the Anise Star pods, but they are really hard to crush up. They smell amazing, though. If you don't know what anise seed is, it smells just like black licorice. So, what we're going to move that out of the way. So what we're going to do is you dump some of these in your hand here. And you can see there's a fair amount of them there, right? Like I said, this cost a dollar at the dollar store. So let's be liberal with it. My ancestors probably love licorice because I do too. So now all you do, dump her in there. So yeah, that's it. And then cork the top, give her a shake like he's rocking out, listening to some Bon Jovi. Leave me alone, I'm old. Um, yeah, and there we go. There's spirit water. Um, very important um, for this recipe to use the purest water you can. If you can't find spring water, I guess filtered tap water would, might be okay, but honestly, Use what you have because it doesn't have to be expensive ever. And it's your practice. You do you, boo, right? So there she is. There's my spirit water. It's 
really great to have stuff like this on hand. So if, this would be something really great if you were going to use a Ouija board or if you were going to do astral travel, you can have um, some of this set aside for for the spirits and everything else. And you know, in all honesty, it's just simple things. Um, when people think about making mixtures, etc., they just think, oh, it's all complicated and I need eye of toad and, you know, bat blood and whatever. And you know, that's your business. But these things do not have to be expensive. This stuff works absolutely amazing. And I'm actually going to put some in a tiny skull that I have for my daughter because she'll love this. But that's what we got today, folks. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.